today I'm going to make a horse on a stick uh, for the toy uh, box and for that I take a toothpick and I take some grey clay or brown clay or white clay, black clay, whatever color you like your uh, horse to be in um, and I conditioned it now I'm going to just roll it out and I'm going to cut off a smaller piece and a bigger piece and the smaller piece is for the neck of my hair horse the smaller piece is for the neck of my horse I rolled it out uh, in like an oblong egg shape whatever and I put it on my stick for the neck of my horse and it will stick to uh, the wood so you won't be able to get it off and that's what we like to do. So I put it on my stick and shaped it. <clears throat> so now I take this part and I'm going to roll that. Also in kind of an oblong but more into it no more into a teardrop like this. And when I like my shape I stick it on to the neck here and I squeeze them together at the top and I like to smoothen it out let's see what do I have on this one to smoothen it out up in the top so I smoothen out the top of my head and here I have the head of the horse and I'm just going to take the pin out just to make it easier for me to work with so that's the horse head and the place for the pin to stick. So now I'm going to take my clay and I'm going to cut off a piece here into two small for the ears. So I'm going to roll these out oblong if possible like that and I'm going to do the other one as well. And I'm going to flatten them out like that. And I'm going, I'll see if I can just show you here. I'm going to make it into the ears. So I'm going to put them together like that. And I'm going to stick it on the side of the horse, on the head, where the ears belong. And I'm smoothing out the clay. So I have one ear on my horse. Not like that. So I'm going to make the other one just the same way bending the ears a bit, taking off the wrist clay and sticking it to the head of my horse. Making it sit just like I want it to. So here we go, the ears are ready. And for the eyes I'm going to take my dotting tool. Let's see which one I'm going to use. I'm going to take my dotting tools for the eyes. On a bigger one, because I like big eyes. Like that. You can either leave them like that, or you can uh, go paint them. I'm rolling out two small balls for the eyes. Like that. So I'm rolling the eyes, sticking it in the head. Like that. And the other one, putting it in the other hole. 
like that. And then I take a tiny piece of white clay and I make two tiny balls for the eyes. And I'm going to stick it on the eye. And I'm going to do that with the other one as well. Like that. And you can make some cute details with the black if you like to. So I'm rolling out a really thin black snake here. Like that. And I'm going to cut off two equal pieces. Like this. And I'm going to take it. I'm going to make something funny here. Remember, it's a toy uh, horse, so you can do actually however you feel like. So I made eyebrows. Now I'm going to uh, make the nose. I'm just squeezing a bigger ball tool on each side of the nose. So you get it to look like this. And you could uh, make a mouth as well. Or also with the black clay or just with a pin or a tool you have. Um, I think I'm going. I think I'm going for the mouth. So I just take my uh, uh, blade and I'm just squeezing it, not with the with the sharp edge, but with the other side, like that. And here we got the mouth. And to make it look really cute, you can take a ball tool and make a small dot where the mouse ends and starts. Like that. So that's the first part. Now you can decide if you want uh, black or grey or wh white hair uh, on it. What color you like is up to you. I take black one for this. Um, and I'm going to roll it out first. Um, something like this. And I'm going to take, cut it into strings. Like this. You can do them however you like to. I just do it like this. And I take some of my baking bond, oh, right here. And I just take these off so I can get to them. Now I'm just putting a tiny dot of bacon bond on the forehead and I'm going to take a few of these black things, strings, whatever, call them what you want, and I'm going to stick them to the head. And you just bend them and squeeze them wherever you like. Then I take some more of my bing bond and I put it down the back of the neck like this. And I'm just going to, like I did before, stick them on.
And there I have the hairs on my horse on a stick and the head. Oh, and my stick. Gotta put that in there. Like that. A horse on a stick. And to put a string in, you could take a needle uh, from one point of the mouse to the other one and put it right through there. Let's see if I have one. I'm going to put my needle into the hole here and I'm going to let it go through and out the other hole in the mouth. I am going to leave the needle in there while picking. And then I can put a, uh, um, a eye pin in there and make it uh, make a string for the child to hold onto the horse. I just just put some big bond on the stick to make it stay on the stick. And that's it. Now I'm going to bake it and then I'm going to show you what I'm gonna do with the needle here. So hang on. I baked my horse uh, and now I take out the needle and here it is. Really cute. So I take a uh, eye pen and I stick it through where it ne the needle was like this. And I cut it off in the length I needed. And I'm going to make an eye on the other side. There we go. Like that. So I have an eye on each side of the mouse. Uh, and now I'm going to braid a piece of uh, thread and put it through. So I have... Um, so I have a string to hold on to. Um, if you have a bigger horse, I made one for my Tankudo, I would take some of the jump rings and I would put them too into uh, the hole. Just a second. And I would put a jump ring on each side of the eye pin. Because this horse is because this horse is bigger, I will do this. Like like this with the jump ring. Oh, you can't see that again. With the jump ring, and I'm going to cut it and cut the end. So I'm going to make an eye here as well. I'm going to put in the jump ring. have a, um, an eye pin through the horse mouth well, and a jump ring in each eye and there I'm going to braid a piece of thread too and put around for holding the horse and this one I'm going to paint the eyes on but that's how you make it uh, a horse on a stick for 1 to 12 and for 1 to 6 uh, make the head a tiny bit bigger for 1 to 6 than I did because this is almost too small but that's it happy crafting